welcome to the Geek Easy Fellow Geeks. Let's open the beverage of your choice. Because today, I thought I'd do something a little different. I am going to list my top five comic writers. Uh, well, not necessarily comic writers, but writers who do comics. Uh, whose work I will pick up no matter what if I see their name on it. Now, whether I continue with that title or not depends on how good the story is. But if I see their name on it, it's an automatic grab at first. So, let's get started. Number five. Number five is Steve Niles. Uh, he does stuff like uh, 30 Days of Night and uh, Dance Macabre. Uh, the cab, uh, really good kind of dark uh, stories. Uh, Thirty Days of Night, it's a different take of the vampire stuff, but the dance mac uh, macabre, dance macabre. I'm sorry, is a really kind of cool story about a private detective or you know a, a, an ex-cop private detective with uh, drug issues and he does just really weird horror stuff. He's, he's got a kind of a zombie sidekick assistant who helps him out with stuff. And just those are books and comics and he does a bunch of other stuff. But really entertaining. wasn't too keen on his 30 days of night at first just because I live in Alaska and you can sort of tell that he didn't do any research at all as to what it's like you know like having like sheriffs and stuff up in, in Barrow you don't you know and having counties up here we don't have counties but yeah not here to critique, critique their work. I mean, specifically, things like that. Um, but really kind of fun, different stuff. Number four. This is a guy you probably have heard of. And that would be... John Byrne. Fantastic artist. Fantastic writer. His version of Superman, when he rebooted it post-crisis, is my favorite version of Superman. You know, you take Superman before that, the guy could, you know, the guy could do anything. He was all power, you know, gets his powers from the yellow sun. But next thing you know, he's out in deep space doing, pulling planets and blowing out stars when he's millions and millions and millions of miles away from the yellow sun. And it just didn't make any sense. Uh, you take his... Superman, and he, he made it more grounded, more realistic, took away the Superboy stuff. His Fantastic Four work is great. Uh, any title he works on is really good. Uh, some of his other work, like Next Men, I've, I've read some of it, and not as good. It, it, again, this is all my opinion. But still really enjoyable stuff. Plus his art is in my top three or four people the artwork in the comic industry. You pretty much can't beat it. Number two. 
JMS. J. Michael Straczynski. Excuse me. Uh, he has done so much stuff in the comic industry, probably more than a lot of people realize. I mean, he's famous for his Spider-Man run, you know, most of it being good except for, uh, you know, <laughs> that, that one run that shall be nameless, you know, something about a day, you know, uh, his Superman run, uh, just, yeah, and he's currently on Captain America. Which I did, I did pick up his Captain America run, but didn't really, the beginning of his run on that, uh, didn't much care for. But I, you, you have some of his other stuff, it was like Joe's Comics, he had uh, Midnight Nation, you had uh, just all these different things. And now he's doing, uh, he has the stuff in AWA. This connected universe after a uh, worldwide pandemic which killed off a bunch of people and also gave a bunch of people powers. Uh, and the way, you know, AWA works is, you know, you, you have they, one story line. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Boom. Finish that one. And then they do... A volume two, another the next one, is that, and so he's got all these different uh, groups of stories, you know, in this, you know, like moths, what has to do with that. Uh, there's been a couple of different uh, runs on that. There's been a couple of different other things, and they're all connected together around that. And that is, uh, right now, it's one of one is he's doing is you and I, I think it's called. Just fantastic work, which I really recommend. It's you have to sort of get it from the beginning to sort of know what's going on. You know, some of them are better than others, but it's a really interesting series. And uh, so I, you know, I I get, you know, I get some of the stuff. Started reading some of the other ones like Captain America and didn't like it, but you know, I will pick up anything with his name on it. Okay, those three right there are the three that you know has good and has stuff that you know, I didn't like that I didn't continue reading because you know, whatever reasons. Now the next two, I've loved everything they've written and some of the best stuff out in comics, with the exception of one title, and I will get to that here in a second on this next one. Uh, Ed Brubaker. I absolutely love everything that he's done from criminal, to his reckless, to Daredevil, to Captain America. I don't even like Captain America all that much. And his stuff there was incredible. Uh, Daredevil, you know, not a big Daredevil fan. I loved stuff. Everything that he's done, I just absolutely love. His, his independent stuff is even better than his uh, stuff for the big two. Uh, you get you get reckless. You have criminal. You have that uh, sleeper, which was that is set in the DC universe, but it was kind of a wild something. That is incredible. The only one that I didn't much care for was his uh, Iron Fist run. I bought a one of the little the, the trades of you know the Iron Fist run. Didn't much care for that. But every other thing that he's done 
it's just mind-blowingly good. Some of them more so than others, but other than that, uh, Iron Fist run, which I think he had to share with somebody else, uh, fantastic. I mean, you have uh, his Gotham that he did with uh, Rucka, Reckless, Sleeper, you know, Daredevil, Captain America. Everything that he's done is just top, top tier, top notch. And worth every cent that I've uh, spent on it. And I'm trying to get, I want to get everything else that he's done. Uh, I just need to find out uh, what I don't have. And I, there's not much of it that I don't have left anymore. And number one, people may or may not have heard of this guy, because I'm not sure he's done anything mainstream, you know, on, meaning, you know, like the big two or the big three. I don't even think he's done anything for, like, image and stuff like that. His stuff has been more small press and uh, but it's just incredible um, my favorite here hold on is oh it's Dan Schaefer I don't know if I mentioned that already but you have Dan Schaefer who did a series called Malefic I have the uh, this in floppies and I also have the trade. Uh, his stuff is so fucked up in the good sense. You're just reading this going, what the hell am I reading? And it is so fun. So kind of, especially this, this one here. Okay, you can you can sort of see here. The woman on the cover right here is Dr. Dr. Evelyn Freust. She is a psychotherapist, I think. Psychologist. And she got fired from her job. Because she wound up sleeping with a client, which is not something that she normally does. And then the guy, he was a mass murderer. And he, he bites her leg, tears her tendon up. And she you know, obviously got found out and they revoked her license. Turns out that he had, you know, this guy had some sort of uh, mental, con you know, ability to con you know, control people's heads and stuff like that. And while, obviously, the, the people revoked her license, the board revoked her license, and it turns out that her father, who she hadn't seen in, like, 20 years, was running a an asylum called The Pit, which is uh, a place to treat people with paranormal issues, like paranormal mental issues, uh, just messed in the head. Um, and so she, she is offered a job there. He, was hit, her, he disappeared. They, you know, they, he didn't know whether he he was actually murdered or not. They don't know whether he's murdered or not by some of the clients. And he wanted her to take over. So it's it's her trying to deal with uh, what's going on there. And I mean, aside from the story, look at some of the art in here. This is just stuff is unbelievably. Well, I'm rereading it. Uh, you know, just 
it is just, if you'll forgive the pun, absolutely mental seeing some of the stuff that the people that you uh, kind of run into in this place. I don't, it's very hard to describe and I won't uh, try to do it because it won't do it any justice. But then he, you know, and he'll just, he doesn't stay on his series. They're all just, you know, like, this one was, I think, six issues long. Uh, and then he moves on to other things. There's one, like, a, called Scribbler, uh, another one. about a, a woman who is a writer who has a computer that gets like AI and stuff like that and it has to deal with a publisher and he, a lot of his stuff deals with kind of anti-establishment and you know anti big business it's kind of a Paranoia of big, big corporations and big uh, of technology and you know industry and religion and stuff like that, but he just does it in this really, really uh, messed up stuff, and has a really interesting way of doing it and there hasn't been you know and well there's like another one called white and it's talking about a, a woman who is in a plane she plane crashes in the ocean and she's on manages to get on the plane and is being dealing with all these you know a great white shark that is sticking around trying to get her and trying to deal with getting rescued it's a four issue, but and then he does stuff about you know demons and monsters and stuff. Just it's he's just you know most people look at it from this way, this way, this way, and some of the odd people do it from this way. And then he does it from it way out here, and he's just like, what is this guy on? Why isn't he sharing? And I want some. Even if you don't agree with him on, on stuff, he, he does, there's usually on, well not usually, but in some of them, it's, he, there's kind of opposing sides. There's one person saying, well, we got to do it this way, and like the other person's like, well, let's do it this So it's, you know, he, he gets his point across without, you know, no matter how messed up the point is. Like in the good way, I love it, but without you know slamming people and just it's you have a really good time reading it, no matter how messed up and fun the stuff is. And uh, so he's my favorite, and I just wanted to uh, share those with you. Those you know those five right there. The last two I will. Except for that one little uh, thing in Entrust, every little thing of theirs I've read that's can't be beaten. So, just wanted to share. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what your top five writers are, and why. Uh, and let me know in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, most of all. Enjoy your comics.